Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Day After Podcast, our show where we watch and review things. I'm here with my wife, Haley, as always. Hello! And uh, today we are discussing, namely, 2018's one-season anime, A Place Further Than the Universe. Oh, 2018? That's a lot more recent than I thought. Yeah, it's actually pretty darn recent. Um, I'd like to give a shout-out real quick to uh, user commenter Defune, who said, over a year ago on our k podcast, if you would like Slice of Life with a little more substance... I have a weird pitch of a show for you. <laughs> yes. So thank you very much for the recommendation. We promise we'll get to Sound Euphonium here sometime. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I've been wanting to watch that one for a while. But yeah, uh, very good recommendations, dude. It, it's really, Slash madam. It, it's really, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's really nice uh, that you can, you can, maybe it doesn't make you want to dunk on K-On, but it definitely, like, K-On is no slouch itself. K-On's a big, hard hitter in the slice of life genre, uh, mode. But this one is exactly what Defune said it was it was tighter it was it had more substance to it yeah and and there was a lot more emotion behind it and and, and I, I don't I don't want this to be a podcast where we compare this to K-On but be, because this is how it came up um K-On is a little too moe for me and you can there, there's moments in K-On that almost dip into etchy with how fucking weird they are. Well, that's like not... the weird crush on the teacher. That's the one. Well, that's yeah. That that. Go ahead. This has a lot more substance, and I co- I'm constantly watching this and watching these girls interact, whether they're trying to get to Antarctica or actually there. I'm like, oh, this is totally how high school girls act. Like me and my friends and my weird ass friends. Th- this is how we talk to each other. This is what we do together. Th- th- these are real. High school girls. And Whereas Kayon, I didn't feel that way. That's definitely a, a, a strength of it. I'm a big, big, big fan of genuine portrayals of people and, you know, ideas. And this is what that has in space. It's a bit of a hard sell because you would think it's so easy, like like a power, like almost like a Power Rangers uh, series. It's easy to say, okay, it's Power Rangers, but in this case, it's really easy to say, this is Moe Slice of Life show, but the goal is Antarctica. Or yeah, so, goal, start a band or something. So a Slice of Life anime, especially Shoujo Slice of Life anime, I, I frequently find the issue, now your mileage, may bear, may, your mileage may vary, but I frequently find the issue that, okay, yeah, these girls are real to life, that doesn't make them interesting. And just because you portray something as real to life doesn't make it interesting. Um, so I tend to gravitate towards shows that had, like, a little weird twist, like Absolute Boyfriend. Yeah. Um, which is not a show, it's just a manga. But that's why I like the twist here of, uh, ordinary batch of high school girls, and one of them has this obsession to want to go to Antarctica. It, it, it feel, it, because you, on the surface, those ideas wouldn't gel, so you, you think, your, your brain thinks the worst, that it must be a really cynical attempt at... Uh, standing yourself out in the Moe crowd. Yeah, or like just to, oh, let's go get these girls to make it unique. Let's set it in a place nobody's ever set a slice of life. But, and they find out that it's just like home or whatever. No, 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 that's not, that's not how this works. There's, there's real heart here. Um, And uh, like the last episode put it really well, like a journey in the true sense of a word. Whereas you face challenges, you have emotional highs, lows. There's a lot of silly shit but also some very, very real shit. This is very, very good animation here. Without it being, um... It, I, I won't say the entire show is your name quality, but it, it maintains a... There there are end-of-episode swells where you could tell the animation and they, they wanted to really hammer home, like, an emotional message, which mm-hmm. is really good. But even the normal animation looks really, uh, looks really solid and really crisp. Yeah, it's not like some animes where, like, oh, when there's an emotional beat, all of a sudden the animation takes a huge spike, like in a video game rendered cutscene. Which it can do here. Uh, and then uh, I would disagree. I think the animation is pretty consistent all throughout not, what, what with I, regards to the human figures. What I what I mean there is not it's allowed to. I mean it does that. It, it, it can have those spikes in really fluid, beautiful animation oh, quality. But, yeah, the rest of it doesn't have to be flat like one punch man animation or something yeah okay. yeah but this is pretty consistent all throughout and there's things going on in the environment that take a kind of a spike in animation i guess um but the the girls are always consistent which mm-hmm. i like i don't have to go over all the girls but i really appreciate uh we get one grounded character and she is the uh focus we'll call it um shirase uh, mom uh kaneko uh, Ta- uh tanako Ta- 
Takako, yes. Okay, excuse me. Takako, yeah. yes. Uh, was an Antarctic researcher who, uh, you know, died there for some... It, it's well, not... I got stuck in a blizzard. <laughs> yeah, that's not... That's really scary. Uh, and the animation makes you know that that's fucking scary. And she's had this urge to get closure by doing something that her mom does, either to feel connected to her mom or to understand closure regarding the situation. I, I At the beginning, I really think she truly believes that her mom is down there because she has to believe that in order to function. Yeah. Like, she can't deal with that grief of, oh my gosh, my mother was lost, you know, in a place farther than the universe, until she goes there and sees that she's really not there. So I, I would say at the, at the she find, she's looking for her mom, she finds closure. Yes, like this is definitely a manga and an anime about closure. Yeah. And, it, you know, it's about cute girls, too, and that's neither, you could be both, but this is a really solid emotional journey, and... I'm just going to say episode 12 will destroy you. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, all the episodes have, uh, as we mentioned, not all of them, but most of them had that big emotional high point where somebody has learned something or somebody has overcome something. And they, they all, you, you keep thinking like, oh, okay, this one hit, hit is bad. No, they all hit you pretty hard. Yeah, they all pretty, yeah, they do really. Um, For the a rarity here, I don't think I'm going to spoil that episode 12. I'll allow you to watch yeah. this for yourself. I think it's a really powerful moment. I mean, I kind of already did. Well, it's okay. It's whatever. <laughs> but but on, honestly, the one thing at near the end, I'm like, I, I did that exercise where I said, what could ruin this anime? And the, <laughs> the only thing I could think of was her mom's still alive in here, like living in like an igloo or something. Yeah. I, I mean, I it could have been done well. Like, I had enough faith in this anime that however, <laughs> wherever it was going to go, it was going to be fine. It was, yeah. And I don't even dare trepidous uh, over that. Um, These are very, I don't know, he kept gushing on the anime. Is there a point you want to bring up? Um, I like how all the girls are unique without being like, this is the sporty one. This oh, is yeah. the idol. This is the shy one. And that's really apparent, like, uh, at the beginning, um, Hinata's the, the, I don't want to say token blonde, but she's the blonde girl who uh, didn't go to high school. She got her, whatever the Japanese equivalency certificate is, and she works at a convenience store. But that doesn't mean she's dumb. She's just, she's actually really intelligent and quoting yeah. shit all the time. Well, yeah, and she said, like, the reason I quit high school is because I was bored. Yeah. Like, I just wasn't challenged enough. And and she's uh, she's always, you know, she's kind of the spunky one, the the one who brings the energy into the group, the one where if somebody's feeling sad or... Whatever, she's she's trying her best, and yet she gets her own big emotional payoff that is really, really satisfying. They all really do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they all do. And then the I, I like how equally represented the characters are. In a way, it shares that with Kayon. Um mm -hmm. And I, I would say Tamari is kind of your self-insert. Kimari? Yeah. Yeah, the main, yeah, the main girl. Yeah, that's, she's kind of the audience in the shirt. Yeah, it's called an audience surrogate. Because she's kind of the one we follow, and she, and her mission is, is like, I don't want to graduate high school and feel like I've done nothing with my life. And I was like, okay, okay, whoa, like, you're not 40. Okay, <laughs> and that, that can expand itself, and that's endearing to have somebody have that kind of a, 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 a breakdown that young in life. Yeah. But it's still a novel, like, it's something that you want to have happen. Yeah, and and I mean, she kind of sets the impetus for, for for this journey, which is really really cool. Um, I mean, I like th there's not a ton to say about this anime. Well, we might as well go over the last character, uh, Yuzuki. Uh, yeah, a um a model of uh, a model or at least a, a TV professional from a very very young age, a child actor, who kind of has not been able to have friends. Friendship is that's a good way to put this is uh. She hasn't been able to have friends for a while, and she wants she's she's been told she's going on this Antarctic adventure, and she doesn't want to go because that's in a world where she's already very alienated. That's the least thing she wants to do is be physically alienated as well. Right? Yeah, off to you know the literal other end of the planet. Um, but it, and uh, yeah, her turn happens actually really earlier than most of the other ones is because she learns that like. Oh my gosh, these people can like me for who I am, and this doesn't have to be complete ass because of who I'm with. And there's a there's a set of I like this purveying idea that friendship is uh because it, it's a circumstance. It's a set of conditions that once you're met, you're like, oh shit, we accidentally became friends. Yeah, yeah. And there's an episode about that too, where it's like it, nobody sits down and decides, all right, we're gonna be friends now. <laughs> uh, it, it it just happens. It's 
Go ahead. No, I, that was it. Yeah, it's just wild that like in the in the third or episode or something, um, she has this idea of, like I don't I don't want to go. I mean, I don't want to just be you and you three friends. It's like, does it look like we're friends? Well, yeah, you all walked in together. No, we met each other like four days. Yeah, ago. I was gonna say like we just met. That's really charming. Um. As a fun little bottle series, we're watching a couple of unnamed longer series in between this. Very, very nice pop cap measurement. Very quick uh, drink of water without it feeling like you trashed yourself. Yeah, um, and we don't have to go into them in any detail, but one thing I really respect about a anime about high school girls is that the adults characters are very, very solid. That's very, yeah, they're dealing, it's not even like Antarctica from a kid, a kid's lens. It, it They are dealing with severe budget issues. Yeah, yeah, and the, the expedition has all these problems. You know, they're dealing with the loss of their team member, um, and they're dealing with the fact that they may not have a ship, they may not have any funding. Um, and I really, really like how uh, very quickly, it's made clear to these high school girls. I was like, okay, when you're on an expedition, you're an adult. Like, it doesn't matter if you're 17, 18, or whatever. You have to pull your weight, or you can't come. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what helps it. That's what keeps Antarctica from being a gimmick. They're not going to some magic North Pole. They are legitimately going, and it's... Yeah, and you see all the, the science that goes into it, all the prep work that they have to do. They go to this, like, two-week-long camp. They don't show up at the place till episode seven. Yeah, yeah, I, that's one thing I was amazed at, how how little of the series they actually spend in Antarctica. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of the journey of getting there, and that's just as important as whatever they do there. Yeah. Well, guys, that's been a, a place further than the universe, a 2018 anime. Big thanks again to Defuna. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. I promise in two, in a year and a half more, we'll get to your other suggestion. Yeah, at some point. Uh, but that's been that's been our, the Day After Podcast. Please join us in one week for something else. What if it just happens to be our next Moe and uh, it comes out? I don't know. Maybe we need a break from I'm Moe. I'm a little Moe now. Do I have a pick for you then? <laughs> oh, Ooh, Jesus. Yeah.